pull up Lions, Patriots. Dude, just the other day we were talking about the Detroit Lions are on this historic scoring pace. Despite being 1-3, they're scoring more points through this span than any NFL team ever has. We could go on to be the highest scoring team the NFL's ever seen. Did we? Is that the announcer curse right there? Is that what Goose happened? Egg? No, it's the fucking Detroit Poverty Lions curse. I'll tell you something about the Detroit Lions. When everybody's sucking Dan Campbell's cock and talking about hard knocks football and how the Detroit Lions are doing something, I tweeted out this. I said, oh my God, the media is so fucking brainwashed. They actually believe that the Lions are good. This is how the Lions sell tickets every single year. This is why Ford Field is never barren. Yeah. There's always people in that bitch. Because they really convinced us year after year after year that we're actually a good team. They had my ass this year. I ain't going to lie. They convince us that that close losses are good news. Yeah. That Oh, dude, so did you true. see how much heart we put out there? That's so true. Did, did, did you see like just how much effort we show? We really got something going here after losing. Yeah. Like somehow losing by a little bit is okay to lose. We are one and four. The New York Giants are four and one. If anybody wants to talk about a team that's supposed to be shit and is making it happen, that's the New York Giants. Here's a team that everybody thought was good, and we suck dick. We suck dick every year until Jared goes the fuck out of this team, and we actually build something. This team is not a team. I'm so over it. Bailey Zappi just dicked us down, bro. Zaddy. Nobody even knows who that is. He's a 68 overall in Mutt. 17 for 21. Are you kidding me? Can Bill Belichick take any white guy and teach him how to check down, and he can still fucking 21 goose egg the Detroit Lions? Lions? I'm so over it. Ramondre Stevenson rushed for yeah. 161 yards. Ran all over. Was that prime us. Bo Jackson? No, it's fucking Ramondre Stevenson. Oh my God, you could have. Bailey Zappi did more than our whole fucking team did on the ground. Jacoby Meyer, seven for 111. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah the Lions over like the last, I don't know, just forever since we've been born have just been training how to brainwash us into thinking they're going to be good every year. And we get so pumped, Never fall for get it. rock hard every preseason, and then it's like I just got in a cold tub, and my dick just shriveled up inside my body, and I can't find it for like 19 mm -hmm. weeks mm -hmm. while football is played. Just remember that I don't that know feeling. what to do. Next time, next time you have a, oh, what's it called? A, a uh, RBS, random yeah. boner syndrome? Yeah. Just think of this feeling. You'll go soft instantly. Yeah. Blue balls. Mm. No, blue balls not the same thing. Yeah, are you no. kidding me? You know what blue balls is, right? Well, like I'm all preseason, they're just getting me pumped. Oh, I'm hard. I'm just they rocked. gave you blue balls. Yes, yes, I yes. Totally understand. Yeah, for, for sure. Yeah. I will say I wasn't spooked. At no point was I sitting here like, oh guys, the Lions are good now. Yeah. Think about what we actually did. This is how they brainwash us. What did we really do from last season to this season? Okay, personnel changes. We got Dan Campbell in there now. Mm -hmm. We still have Jared Goff. Aiden Hutch. We, we drafted like, some players. Yeah, yeah. what are they? What are they going to turn the Whole fucking team right. around yeah like we really didn't do anything we were a horrible team last year we're still a horrible team i don't care how many games we win i think we max win six we, and until jared goff gets out of here we unload jared goff's contract we draft the franchise qb and then we use money in free agency to actually build a nasty team until that happens i don't want to talk think, about it you think that's the biggest thing is just goff pretty much the bottom biggest, line is okay goff. jared goff is legitimately if like i'm not being a dick a mid-tier mm -hmm. nfl quarterback yeah the problem is the detroit lions and everybody in the organization know that jared goff is not our franchise qb so it's not that jared goff is bad it's that jared goff is a bridge to our actual franchise QB, mm -hmm. and nobody in the organization is gonna buy into the fact that we're actually gonna make a deep playoff run right. until he's gone. So it's basically like, okay, let's weather the storm. Let's weather the storm. No one's like, this is our year. This is the year that we're gonna win it all yeah. because we've got all these pieces. It's like, okay, Jared Goff's eating up about a whole fucking lot of million dollars in our salary mm -hmm. right now. Yep. So let's just play the waiting game, keep the fans entertained, sell some tickets and some jerseys here and there until Jared Goff's gone. That's going to free up so much money. Like so much money to the point where your team sucked. So you have a good high draft pick to use on a quarterback. Hopefully that's what I hope happens. Yep. I hope we have a deeper quarterback draft than we had last year, which it already looks like we will. And then you use all that money in free agency and all of a sudden you literally just bought a good team. Basically, you bought you you built it in the draft and then you bought it in free agency. And hopefully then the mindset and the culture changes. Then all the players are like, 
Let's fucking go. What, what if we still had this same team, but we still had Matthew Stafford? Would yeah, we be it like? It matter. No, this no? team is no. We didn't. We couldn't win with Megatron. Right. Exactly. We had, yeah. dude. There was a point in time. And granted, we got completely robbed by the refs. Yeah. This game, this one, there's the most blatant PI I've ever seen. The refs didn't call it, but I'm not gonna say it's the refs' fault. We had an insane team. Uh, S uh Stephen Tulloch, Dominican Sue in his prime, one of the best defensive tackles of all time. He's nasty. Megatron, a top two wide receiver all time in his prime. Mm -hmm. uh, Matthew Stafford, who is playing better than he's playing currently on the Rams, and he's playing really good, he just won a Super Bowl. We had a way better team. So no, you put Matthew Stafford, even put Aaron Rodgers, you put the best QB in the league on this Lions team, we don't go deep in the playoffs. We just have, we don't have the pieces. But we can get the pieces. We need about two, three, four years. We need a legitimate amount of time. Any Lions fan who thinks it's just gonna turn around because of X, Y, or Z is wrong. You need X and Y and Z and the rest the whole fucking alphabet and every single lgbtq plus a person you know to tell their alphabet friends to come join the fucking roster because we're not winning shit until then dude just after hawkinson had the most monstrous fantasy game he has one reception for six yards yeah that was hello tough. dude you got the reynolds brothers going off and receiving it and nobody even knows who they are what about a monra bro mm -hmm. dude uh golf with just the lions o-line or the patriots d-line is one of the two is either amazing or poverty no we just had a horrible Judon game. is a tank, dude. On yeah. the Patriots, holy Patriots, crap. Patriots are He's good. a menace. Mm -hmm. So good. The red so sleeve, good. the red sleeve yes. assassin, baby. Yes. All right, I'm done talking about the Lions. That's my Lions rant over. Good job, Bailey Zappi. You fucking own me.